Good night again, guys. Uh, I do apologize for the minor inconveniences with the slides. But uh, we are the brewing team for the North Yeast University of um, Port of Sturm, so the subsection. So this year, like you can see there, there's a new logo. So we started with the uh, Brew Labs. So that's a new brand that we started. So uh, let's get this presentation started. So I'm just going to do a general introduction. So uh, meet the team. This is Karabu. He's currently a PhD student, so up above me. This is uh, Nolly, PhD student, up above me. And then Mariska, she's a first year master student, and me, myself, am a uh, second year master student. And we all are in the microbiology because that's what we like to do. And then there on the presentation, you can see Yaku. He was here presently with his amazing, luxurious beard. But unfortunately, he couldn't join us this year. But um, he's here in spirit, but not in form, so it's fine. So uh, here we have our brewing system. So it's quite basic. It's a brew pro system, 90 liters that we can brew at once. Uh, so front to back, there with the uh, uh, insulation, we have, first of all, we have our boiling kettle. Then we have our mashing tank and then our boiler. And then we still have plastic fermenters, but we have something in store that we ordered lot now uh, previously to this competition that we can just just give you a little hint, so it's pressure fermenters that we can also uh, temperature control. So next year we can actually brew a proper lager. So unfortunately I'm not here, but we can brew a proper lager then. So there were some mishaps. Luckily nobody ended up like that mishaps. But um, so load shedding is a is an evident problem with all of us that I saw from the presentation. So we relied heavily on acorns for the temperature control of the fermentation. So because of that, we had a bit of problems with our system. So every time the power went off and back on, the system didn't reset to the correct temperature. So we didn't have the double IPA that we wanted to bless you guys again and try to redeem ourselves again with last year with our second prize. So, and we didn't have a summer beer. We made a very weird styled vinegar. And for African, we tried to go for a IPA style African beer with a twist. But yet again, due to the load shedding, we had some problems there. So we didn't want to poison you guys. We want to send you guys away healthy. So yet the successes that we had is uh, we did brew three beers at least for this year. So I feel it's a common number that we have now, three. Last year we also entered three. So we did do a sour beer, a lager, and a Belgian IPA for the styles. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, seeing as though Barney mentioned all the beers that we entered this year. Um, so our first beer that we entered was the Belgian IPA. And um, yeah, this is our pride and joy, our baby. So um, in terms of, uh, as Barney said, our African failed miserably. So uh, we tried to keep uh, the hops in this beer South African. So that was quite nice, we thought. Uh, and then our lager. So as Banner also mentioned, we're busy getting the pressured fermenters um, and we also struggled with the, uh, keeping, uh, keeping the temperature controlled. So that was also a big struggle with our lager. Uh, and then our sour, that I think Banner will continue. Okay, so I'm gonna take over the part from Yaku, the guy with the luxurious beer that was pasted into that photo that couldn't make it. So he's quite a mad scientist, so he concocted a sour beer, mixed fermentation sour beer, yeah. So we don't really know what he did, but he did something that was tasting nice, but we don't really know in what category he placed it in. So we did produce a sour beer. So, and then uh, lastly, we just want to thank a few people. So uh, Abra Malazzi, he's uh, our local brewing connoisseur slash financial advisor slash everything there, helping us to handle all of the brew stuff during the year. And then we'd like to uh, thank uh, the people from Stellenbosch as well. Like they said previously, becoming best friends now in the last couple of hours. And then for helping us with our hops that previously is an inside joke. So thanks for that, guys. <laughs> Enjoy the night.